I'm not one of those people who, who believes in, you know, never, ever consuming a drug if you need to at a particular time, or that not need to, you never really, quote, need to, but um, at that time, it's something that would be helpful for your frequency, if it's something that it is improving. But um, I looked in my bag, and I couldn't find it. I knew I'd put it in there, because I, I you know, heard specifically, yeah, you can, you can put that in there, because um, I was contemplating, should I bring this stuff or not, because then I'll be tempted to take it if I bring it with me. And I was told, no, you can bring it with you, just tell yourself you will not touch it until after you're done seeing that guy, because it will be stressful, but you can't dull yourself out for seeing the guy. Um, and so then I tried to look in my bag, and it was not there. And, um, like, absolutely nothing that was benzodiazepine was, was there. And I was looking around like, oh, darn it. And um, I thought, well, I'm not dependent on the stuff. I'm just being pissy. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. I, I, I mean, I don't actually need that, and so I'm sitting there, you know, I was, I was, I was sitting here listening to, you know, angry music, because indigos are angry, you know, indigo colored, I didn't even realize I was wearing that, that's funny, um, like that, even the rest of what I'm wearing is, like, reptilian favorite colors, um, and stuff. So I'm listening to, like, angry music by a guy, like, actually named Mad Child. I like that name, Mad, Mad Child. Kind of like Eminem-style rapper, but really, really, really obvious um, with the material. Instead of, Eminem was very subtle. Uh, and, and I think it was so early he didn't know about a lot of it, maybe. Um, or was shut up or something because he was so young and, and like, the first white rapper, you know, in the industry, really. Um... So I was listening to something kind of like a white rapper, kind of like Eminem, but rapping about gray aliens. And um, then suddenly something comes over me and says, would you look at where you're sitting and where the sun is? You know, you're using your phone and it's using up data, you know, and, and that's, that's a resource. Y you know, you could do something so much more productive, couldn't you? And I thought, oh, that's right. What was my idea? To make a video out here. That's right. And I'm the brilliant forgetter. That's what Kron will do. Will wipe my memory of stuff so that I won't remember so no one can fish it out. And uh, <laughs> so, like, World of No... That, that, that's how I'm existing in the World of No... Like, World of Shields, like, Dune Shield style. Like the little Yoda creature, it will say, but that's what the shields are for, and I'll be like, but why do you want a shield, like, why, that's, like, this isn't fun, um, this doesn't seem fun, um, and so I, I realized, oh, I should, uh, make, you know, make, make a, make a video, and so I started my video here, and, um, I did get, well, not get, but, um, I was wondering, oh, is anybody gonna, gonna, gonna come by and actually start harassing me in the middle of me doing this? And, you know, and I'm, it's, this is very secluded, um, and there's nobody really around here, and people do not really walk around this, this place, or they didn't used to, um, if I know this park, like, I mean, this, I consider this is where I, is where I'm from. I'm finally sitting back in my city, and it has been taken over. It's been freaking taken over, and I'm angry about it. But so then I, it was pointed out to me, you know, you could do something so much better um, than than write, I do not, or than, than, than write, I refuse abuse. That I, I began to write, I refuse abuse. I refuse abuse. I refuse abuse. Um, in my little book, I refuse abuse. And so he said, okay, so, so, we under, so I understand that you refuse abuse, right? So, okay, so you refuse the abuse. So what do you do instead? <laughs> and I realize, oh, okay. Um, but see, what they'll do to you is they'll try to make you very depressed or make you suicidal. They tried to do that to me on the train, like make me suicidal for a second. And I, could, I, I knew that that's what it was. But then I suddenly turned the thought around and I said, oh, you know, that would be really great if you guys thought I was going to, to San Francisco to commit suicide because then you wouldn't bother me. And then the girl actually started laughing. Um... 
because uh, because like it had gotten through and then I just swapped it around and I knew sitting there like listening to this mad child that like mad mad child rapping about greys that like I know they're doing this to me and I'm oh man, like well like, like trying to make me depressed so instead what's easier to feel than depressed pissed off um so I would feel pissed off. I know they're doing this to me. Oh, I know they're doing this to me. Ah. And then that's that's where oh, you know they're doing this to you, and you're you're um using up that data on your phone, right? You could use up something else in your phone, like that memory card, right? And uh, I realized, oh, okay, cool. That sounds that sounds cool. Uh, cause uh, whatever the heck I'm wearing is is cool. Like like Fez's. <laughs> No, you guys, seriously, in Doctor Who, should not have put the low-tech thing in there, because that is how I figured out so much stuff. Um, the, the too low-tech thing, um, that was awesome. Too low-tech, too low-tech. Um, but, uh, that's all, and that's also a major hint for people. Do not get cool technology, even if it's cool. Which is gonna suck for me, because I want an, I an iPhone. But, um... If it's cool and tries to boss me around and do weird stuff to me, then I don't want it. Um, I'd rather have the really old crappy flip phone that you can't even take pictures on. Because remember, I'm from the indigo generation when we grew up without cell phones. Like, we actually grew up without having those things. So, yeah, and you're thinking, how is that possible? Uh, well, well, some of you know how it's possible with the telepathy thing. But thinking, how is that possible and you couldn't talk to each other at all? Yeah, we walked around. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> Seriously, we walked around and like before before any phones, like we so kids like me would say, "What you know? What would you guys do?" And I guess the parents, what the parents would tell us is they'd say we would have meetups or they would arrange times to meet at the places, like how the homeless kids here will congregate in a certain location and you would just happen upon a person like that. So so it wouldn't be as planned because it wouldn't be as easy to get a hold of somebody. Um, but, so, now back to the interesting topic, because there's not too much time left on this, like, as if you'd want there to be time, uh, if you're actually interested in any of this. Um, mostly I'm just doing this for myself, because I need to. Um, a lot of people say with, with Nietzsche that he needed his philosophy to stay alive. And he told me, Krista, they're right, I did, I, I, I completely did. Uh, that that they are they're they're completely right, and I actually even knew it when I was when when I was so sick. I I knew it too, and um, so I thought, okay, well, I think um, uh, something similar is happening happening here. Uh, could care less about who actually views this or not, um, even though that 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 sounds so course, but it's uh, not that I don't care if anyone views this, it's that, you know, um, I don't care that I'm not like, whatever, some popular YouTube person. And also all the popular YouTube people, or like anybody with good graphics, um, is, at, whenever I try to contact them, I end up getting a reptilian or something in response. Or I end up getting, if I'm unlucky, a, like, y y yell or, like, something. The, they're annoying to fight with. Because the, they're, the, the, they're so smart. They're annoying to fight with. It's really annoying for an Arcturian to fight with, fight with them because there's a similar appearance and a similar kind of, n similar, similar kind of capacity of intelligence. But then you, there's this machine thing that doesn't work and... It's like, want, I want to help you, because, oh, lost cousin, oh, I want to help you, and then, like, no, we're masters of the dark arts, Darth Vader, and, and, and like, Eminem, I'm so angry, rapping, and, okay, 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 bye, bye-bye, like, <laughs> bye, bye-bye, and sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll do this, because it, just, just because it feels, um, what should I say, more like home. Um, this, like, three, like, only the three fingers, or I'll do that, and, like, hold these two down sometimes, um, because Arcturians only have three fingers, like, three long fingers, um, and, 
but um, I, I know eventually I'm going to make a video here about what is an Arcturian, or, you know, what are Arcturians uh, like, but that's uh, something that I'd want to put quite a bit amount of thought into and not just be documenting my life being harassed. <laughs> Um, which I need to change into my life being called the walking angel. Um, that was what happened at the library. So, so, um, my life, um, my life being happy. Yeah, happy. My life being happy sounds, sounds great. My life being full of light and love sounds great. Um, my life transforming in many positive directions is what I want. And I can feel that the, that the, that the entire earth wants it. Meaning the actual, like, like, like what I'm sitting on. It, the, the, the earth itself wants it. Um, like, the earth itself is saying, you guys like it or not, I'm fed up! <laughs> something like, it, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, something like that. Um, like, uh, like, I'm dying, so, no, I'm dying, so, no! And enough, you know, enough people who are inhabiting the planet, uh, realize that, oh, we're dying, and it's dying, no! So, um, this is going to reverse, this, this is going to get better, um, if you're having to be kind of holed up in your apartment and can, you can control the weather or something, or, uh, hold up in your apartment and you control nuclear missile systems, or hold up in your apartment and, I don't know, you can, like, hack with your mind into different, different, um, servers or whatever, um, why don't you do that, or, like, do whatever thing you're good at, and do it in a way that, like, Wiccan, like, and ye harm none type thing, so, like, so, so don't, don't hurt anybody, so, um, help people, there, help people, <laughs> jeez, and then the yeah yells, you all, you all are laughing, right, and then the other people, depending on how new they are, trying to think, don't, un, don't, wait, uh, there's an opening, wait, uh, uh, and, and, like, okay, I wish I could do that, um, that, that, that's really intriguing now. I want to be able to do that thing, uh, like, to be able to reflect the blue eyes in there, because I, I, I keep remembering that. But, they tried to tag me again, um, some, somebody tried to tag me on the bus, and I felt it hit, I felt it hit both my eyes, um, two little pinprick things hit both my eyes, and, um, Cryon told me, okay, well, first of all, make it not very fun for them, close your eyes. <laughs> So I closed my eyes. So see, they can't really see anything now, can they? Um, and he told me to do some things, and slowly the feeling of them in there. You can kind, you can feel a tag, um, and the feeling of it there literally began to disappear. And I thought, wow, wait, I'm doing this in real time. And the, before I'd only realized I'd done it, you know, however many days later. Wow, cool. Um, but now, while well, time is running out and the sun is uh, the sun the sun is going down, so we're running out of time here. So I'm going to go find something fun that I'd like to do while um, while, while spreading light to the other confused entities around me. Um, and hopefully I'll find another one full of light. Um, hopefully I'll notice upon meeting them. Um, but until then, I will conclude this episode, this tree episode of Arcturian Philosophy. Blessings to you all. <laughs>